So over the past couple of months, we've seen a lot of renewed interest in the possibility of finally raising taxes on the rich with AOC talking about higher marginal tax rates. You have Bernie Sanders increased estate tax bill. You have Elizabeth Warren with her wealth tax bill. And Fox News obviously is not a fan of that sort of thing. But at a certain point, they can no longer hide from the truth when their own polls reveal what's going on. Let's see how they respond in real time. What seems to be a movement against capitalism in this country, this is a piece in Politico just published, Soak the Rich. Americans say, go for it. In this piece, it talks about how recent polling is showing that the American public is increasingly on board with raising taxes on the rich. As evidence, we pulled up this latest Fox News poll on the issue, whether Americans support raising taxes on the wealthy, on incomes over 10 million bucks. Those that are in favor of that, 70% percent, Charles, over a million dollars in income, 65% are in favor of raising taxes. The idea of fairness has been promoted in our schools for a long time. And we're starting to see kids who grew up in this notion that fairness above all, and now they're becoming voting age, and they're bringing this ideology with them. They revealed so much. They revealed so much about <laughs> themselves. Okay, first okay, of all, what do you got? Uh, they don't know what cap. They, they, they're, they're, well, their idea of capitalism. Oh, can you believe people are against capitalism? Do you know what capitalism is? Mm -hmm. It's destroying everyone else beneath you while you hoard everything you can, and, and only only winners are is doing that. So. As we promote capitalism and then give it this rosy picture of like everybody gets a chance, it's not the case. That's not mm -hmm. what capitalism is. And also, once you once you're faced with this uh, with <laughs> with this reality, it's the schools. <laughs> Again, it goes back to who's always been in power and who's been able to indoctrinate people. So they think the only reason people believe what they believe is not because it's any logic behind it, it's because they've been indoctrinated. Because that's the way they do mm -hmm. things. Like we've been indoctrinating children and Americans our whole lives to think backwards and not in their own interest mm -hmm. and not know how the country is actually supposed to work. They begin to realize it, so they must be teaching them some BS around here. No, they're teaching them the reality. And now that must be indoctrination in those schools that we used to control mm -hmm. and, bring, and, and, uh, and, and, and uh, do some mind melds on people for. How does that work? <laughs> I just love his responses. These kids and their fairness. Goddamn Barney! <laughs> like you can't. These kids in school wanting to actually to not have to be a swamped in school loans for the rest of their lives. Yeah. Oh, how dare they? Mm -hmm. That's that's not opportunity. This country's supposed to be for opportunity, not for just the same people get the same stuff and take it from everyone else. Yeah. That's hoping for that. Yeah. What what part of capitalism says that the top marginal tax rate should always be going down? Where where does it say that in the tenets of capitalism that they should always be lower than they were? That's not a part of it. You can still have a total capitalist Their system, idea of capitalism. and the rich pay a little bit more than they did last year. That is just that is a reasonable tweak. Okay, wait until you find out what the next generation is actually going to want, because it's not going to be limited to slightly higher taxes on those making more than ten million dollars. It's going to be, thank God, a much needed rethinking of some of the fundamental tenets of our economic system that we have simply taken for granted for over half a century. Wait until they see that poll, okay? <laughs> Look, we talked last last week, I think it was. Like a quarter of young Republicans are like socialism, not so bad. Wait until that is the dominant generation, the Republican Party, and then there's ones coming up behind them. The scare tactics anyway. aren't working the same as they used to, and now they're shaking. They're like we used to be able to scare everyone mm -hmm. into our beliefs, and man, they're not scared anymore. Yeah, we need to limit this information, this flow of information, because that's their problem. Yeah, thank God they're not working. Okay, and by the way, caravan. Okay, maybe that'll scare them. Um, so uh, one of the people who helped to start this conversation responded to that that uh, video. AOC said, "Just wait until they find out about the golden rule." <laughs> yeah, my God, do you guys read your Bible? Thank you very much for watching this clip from the damage report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full damage report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.